everyone, and welcome to pal to tech On today's Fast Friday, we are talking about depth of field. More specifically, how to have a preview of your depth of field before you finish taking your shots. A quick review for any of you beginner photographers out there. To put it simply, Depth of field refers to the area of your image that's in focus. For our demonstration today, we will be using David S. Pumpkins. If you don't know who David S. Pumpkins is, I will have a link to that down below. You must watch that. Any questions? Anyway, the higher the aperture number that you set, the smaller the aperture opening will be, which results in more depth of field, or basically more parts of your image that will be in focus. The lower the f-stop number you set, the larger the aperture aperture opening will be, which results in less depth of field. And that results in less parts of your image being in focus. Now, when you're looking through the viewfinder or the back LCD screen and composing your shot, your Fujifilm camera is always showing you what your scene looks like at the widest open aperture on the lens, which on this lens happens to be f1.4, meaning that whenever you are about to take your shot, you are only seeing the minimum depth of field. It's not until you have halfway press down the shutter release button that the camera shows you what it actually looks like. So right now, as I'm looking through the camera, I cannot see the color chart. Do you see that right there? Even if I have my lens set to F16, it has absolutely no effect on it whatsoever. However, if I half hold down the shutter release, have a look at this. Here it is at F1.4, and now I am rotating the aperture ring, and I am increasing the numbers to get up to F16. Now you can see the color checker chart because there's more depth of field because I have a smaller aperture. The problem with this is that sometimes when you're setting up scenes, you want to have more control over what is in focus and what isn't, and to be able to sort of preview that depth of field so that you can make adjustments before you start shooting. And you don't want to always have to half press the shutter release button when you want to do that. So let's say you're drinking your, I don't know, fourth Red Bull and you have your camera set to continuous high and you want to preview your depth of field. And if you try and gently half press the shutter release button, you may end up taking more shots than you want. Whoops, right? So Fujifilm offers a solution for this. It is called the Depth of Field Preview Button. The catch, you must assign a custom button on the camera to do this because it's not really hardwired to a button already. So check this out. I'm gonna assign my Q button right now. Just press and hold down the DISP back button for a few seconds. Go ahead and find the button or function that you wanna customize. I'm gonna use Q and I'm going to change it to Preview Depth of Field. Now let me show you what's going to happen. Okay, so now I have the camera in f1.4. I'm going to press the Q button on the back, and that's exactly what f1.4 will show us. It's the widest open aperture with the least amount of depth of field. Now I'm going to rotate my aperture ring and reduce the size of the aperture opening. This will make my depth of field larger. So now I'm at f16. That's the maximum amount of depth of field I can get with this lens, but have a look at how little depth of field I have. It's still defaulting to the widest open part of the aperture. So now I'm gonna go ahead and press the Q button, which has been assigned to depth of field preview. Watch this. I am now pressing the Q button. Here we go, boom. Have a look at that. I can see exactly what's in the background. I can then make my adjustments. If I wanna have less depth of field, I can keep my finger pressing down the button and rotate the aperture ring. Have a look at that. Now the background's getting blurry. Or I can stop down the lens and look, it gets clearer again. I can go to F16. My depth of field is getting larger. Speaking of which. Today is my birthday. I turned 54 today, and YouTube is now telling me that I am now older than my main audience demographic for this channel. Let me give you some younger folks some advice. Do you wanna have a happier life? Do you wanna feel like you're making the most of it? Here's the secret. It's quite simple, actually. What you wanna do is you always wanna have something to look forward to. It can be anything, large or small. Climb Mount Kilimanjaro, go on a photo shoot, play with dangerous power tools. Maybe I shouldn't do that in here. <laughs> 
or maybe just hang upside down in your closet and listen to Pink Floyd. Whatever it is, make sure that you have at least one or two of those things constantly upcoming that you look forward to doing. And if you don't have anything, then go out and find something. So I'm signing off now and I'm going to go out and celebrate with my family. Have a wonderful weekend and I will see all of you next week. Take care.